So our next functional group is the carbonyl group. And with carbonyl groups, we can have two families, aldehydes if the double bonded oxygen is on the end of the chain, and then something called ketones if the double bonded oxygen is in the middle of the chain. So let's look at some uh, aldehydes and ketones. The simplest is something called methanol. And you can see with methanol, we have the carbon uh, with the double bonded oxygen attached to it. It's one carbon. We have our double bonded oxygen here and then two hydrogens. Next would be ethanol. And with ethanol, we have our double bonded oxygen attached to uh, a carbon. And then you can see our second carbon has its regular uh, three hydrogens attached. So third one, of course, would be propanol. And you see we have our, our three carbons. And you see that the oxygen, double bonded oxygen, is attached to the first carbon. So here's the first carbon. And we can flip the molecule this way. And you see this is still the, the first carbon. And there is our double bond. Now when we get to three carbons, we can actually have a ketone. And so this is propanone, and you can see that our double bonded oxygen is attached to the second carbon. So the first carbon has three hydrogens, and it has a bond with the second carbon. Second carbon has the double bonded oxygen, that's our carbonyl group, and then our uh, third carbon with its three hydrogens attached. So those are uh, the first few of the carbonyl group.